This housing estate on the outskirts of the southern French city of Toulouse suffers from high double-digit youth unemployment. The population is made up of mainly first and second generation North African immigrants. These housing projects are more or less cut off from the rest of French society. And yet, in this local classroom, a strange sort of experiment is taking place. On joue ensemble, d'accord? Mixité, filles et garçons mélangés. These kids are being taught about the game of rugby. In these rough neighborhoods, football is king. But for rugby professionals, there's a lot of new potential players on these estates. And for regional and city governments who finance the initiatives, rugby is seen as having a more positive role model image than football. With rugby, you have the right to physically handle your opponent, to try and stop them from scoring which you can't in football. So that physical struggle encourages you to show respect for your rival, even as you try and take him or her out. On these estates, there are no rugby pitches, so teaching the game is an uphill battle. On top of that, football is identified with glamour and money. These kids can rattle off the names of any number of football stars, but can barely think of one rugby player. We know more footballers than rugby men, like Cristiano Ronaldo, Zidane or Kaka. I prefer tennis or football, but not rugby. But the people behind this initiative called Rebond or Rebound say they're breaking new ground slowly. It's a sport that has made few inroads into neighbourhoods like this, even in Toulouse, which is considered the symbolic rugby capital of France. Football is instinctively more accessible. You pick up a ball and play. But we are finding that with encouragement and professional coaches, kids here are beginning to claim rugby as a sport of their own. Your average French rugby fan and player is white, middle class, and live in prosperous city centres or out in the countryside. In other words, they definitely don't come from neighbourhoods like this one. France hosted the last Rugby World Cup in 2007, and even though thousands of loyal fans followed the national team's progress towards the semi-finals, the event did not make a breakthrough into France's immigrant population. French rugby authorities say that will only happen when the Zidane of French rugby emerges from one of their neighbourhoods. Le jour où nous aurons réussi the day when we have succeeded in finding a few star individuals emerging from a troubled estate, then we will have finally made the breakthrough in that environment. In the city of Bordeaux, rugby officials are trying to get a head start. Armed with a budget of $800,000 a year, they're literally bringing rugby to the muddy grass at the edge of the tower block stairwells. Not for nothing, this initiative is called Dropkick in the Concrete Jungle. Most of these kids aren't even teens yet, but the thinking is, if they can learn about team spirit early on, maybe they'll take up rugby before football. Rugby is very family. Rugby is a collective sport, unlike football, which is focused on individual success and cash. Rugby teaches these kids values like mutual respect and openness. After this rugby session, the post-game analysis is all about team effort. For kids from this estate facing a tough future, this could be a winning message.